All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the F1 2018 career mode here with Red Bull Taro Rosso Honda. It's a heck of a name, isn't it? I prefer Scuderia Taro Rosso, but anyway, we have contract negotiation to hit off here. Now, look at our value, looking pretty good. Um, so, we're going to figure out exactly what we need here. So, let's start it. Here we can adjust the terms of our proposal. The more ambitiously we set our targets, the more willing the team will be to give us better perks. We'll have a few chances to suggest a deal, but we need to be careful. If a proposed contract exceeds your value to the team, it will be rejected, and too many attempts will leave us stuck with the original offer. Okay, so... Um... No equal status. Hoping for a... An equal status. Um... Do I feel like I'm better than Pierre? Yeah, so I'm gonna be... Uh, a little bit greedy. I'm gonna say no to the pit stop. I'm going to say major and minor. Reckon we can get simultaneous development. Two upgrades per apartment. I mean, is that too much to ask for? This is the minimum position that you expect to finish the race. Make this harder to decrease the cost. I think we can finish 12th. I feel like 12 is is a realistic uh, area to get into. I mean, I feel like that's middle of the road in Q2. It's 12th. It just sets out the points for the race. Uh, I feel like this is a fair deal. I. I... Okay, that proposal looks okay it was a little bit undervalued. Okay, I probably should have asked for more, but... I'll take it. It's a good deal. We got should have development speeded up now, which is a good. Probably should ask the extra, the quicker pit stops, but you know, I think it came in a bit too low that time. But anyway, let's push on into Barcelona and uh, get ready for the race in Catalonia. Well, that is not what we want to hear as we set off into the development here at Spain. Yikes, or should I say Catalonia to be fair. Some of you are wondering why I haven't worked in the upgrade package. Well, we needed that badly. And unfortunately, we're probably going to have to reorder it for the next race. Remember to select a driver that you consider your. So we're going to reorder this part. Um, might as well. I mean, it's only 240 points. We got that back through practice, but it is, of course, a bit of a minor inconvenience, but it will be there for Monaco, which is probably a course we'll need it on. But anyway, let's put it there. Let's move on to practice. Practice programs finished here for the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya. Track climatization, fuel, qualifying pace, red strategy, smashed out of the park. Absolutely top notch. A few mistakes on the, the track climatization. That like turn 10, I think it is, always gets me. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's always been a problem for me. It, like I used to be good at it, I feel like back in the day, like maybe like five, six, seven years ago, but I mean, it has not been pretty since then, but you know, we did a good job. We're looking good. The pace feels good. Now let's get into qualifying and see how we can do. First lap of Q1 here. We're going out in the soft tire. Just trying to get a feel for the soft tires. The benchmark. Oh, I didn't put DRS on, did I? Well, that is a bit of a problem, but look at the nice banker lap going up here. Wow, the tires definitely do not feel pretty on this course. Nice Sebastian Vettel right up behind my gearbox. It's not where you want to be. Let's keep the head down and see what we can do. All right, second lap here after a bit of a mess up the first lap. Backed off, decided to go again. Get some clean fresh air and have a crack at it because that's exactly what we need to do here. Into this first turn here. Do we get the lap right? There it is. Well, P11 there. Just behind Sebastian Vettel in the soft tires, so... Not too bad at all, take that. Time to head back to the garage now and see if that will be good enough for us in to get into Q2. Right, we could go out here again, but I'm feeling like I think the lap might be good enough. There's a 0.6 gap. Um, so, you know what? I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident going to Q2 here, so I'm going to hold put. And exactly right, we were good enough to hold stand put there. As you see, Sebastian Vettel just up the way from us, about just 0.2 
by Esteban Ocon and unfortunately he made Pierre Gasly again a second slower that's interesting enough so uh struggling this time around but again the difference when the dry race makes is just huge anyway let's head into Q2 and uh let's see if we can get into Q3 into the shootout that's exactly what we want to see Start of Q2 here, let's crack on, get a nice starting lap here under our belt. Let's get something in, in. get a nice early time in, put pressure on the other guys. That's what we want to do there, a bit early on the brakes there, but... Should be alright. Ooh, what a lap, what a lap that was, that felt so good. There's definitely, I think I can improve on it though, which is even better. So that's a good start to the start to the race. Oh, don't want to get in the way of science here. But anyway, let's just walk her off here and head back to the garage. There you have it. I think that lap was uh, simply sensational from us is the best way to put it. Surprisingly, Rakuten is so far back. So interesting there. Obviously, I think the other cars are going to get things are going to add up. As you see, the drop zone, Van Dorn, Hulkenberg, Magnus, and Perez, and knock on. All getting knocked out it's you know i feel like we need to up i don't think like that 20 21.1 i'm not really sure we can beat that like looking back on that lap i just i was just hitting everything like in like autopilot so can we break the 121s i don't know i think that if i could take a lap into q3 i'd take it right now but instead of q3 we'll have three soft or super soft tires to, to go with so that's a, a nice you know we have three shots at it so Hopefully we can do another lap like that and I'll be ecstatic. Alright, here we go. First lap of Q3 here. Our first set of tyres for Q3 here. With three shots in the tank, so we're really going to go for it here. It's going to set a nice little banker lap here. That was a really poor first turn, but let's take the head down and keep going. Very scruffy out of there in the last corner. Not the best lap in the world, but we're going to come across 121.2. So there's plenty to do there. Plenty to get done. We do so much better as well. That's the thing. I, I feel like we got more in the tank. We exit there. Now we got a better time here. So this is going to be the time to beat that sub 121 we set. Beautifully done. That's exactly what I want to see. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to get enough time to go out again. Um, I think we did put our best effort into it, but. I think it's only going to be good enough. Probably, I'd say Fernando will probably beat us over it. But, I mean, look at the difference in space between Grosjean and Sainz compared to Fernando Alonso. Though. So, that's pretty pretty big, unfortunately. I think I should have probably not gone into the pits, pressed into the pits, and just drove back myself. Ricardo went below 120. Wow. That is some pace. But, yeah, we did our best. That's all we can ask for. Let's head forward to see the classification. Is complete and we're all okay, so you finished seven. We did tomorrow. beat Alonso, which Your is good to see. Now, obviously, Ricardo, there's nothing, there's Hamilton, no problem being the best of the rest, but you see the times with there. Well, hang on a second. All that is Ricardo's the time was a 119. Why did it go to 120? Tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. That's a weird one. Um, not really sure how I did that, but that's a bit of a glitch. But anyway, as you see there, pretty convincing. Very better call than Alonso, I think. That's pretty good. I think that's exactly where I expect us to be. So, we're doing well. Let's push on to the race now. Good afternoon from a very familiar setting. It's race day here in Spain, and with everything still to play for in the championship battle, there's no room for mistakes in a Grand Prix that's well known for creating them. It's 730 metres from pole position down to a slippery turn one here, the first of 16 corners around this 2.89 mile racetrack. The long wide turn three and the uphill right-hander of turn nine can both be taken full throttle in the right conditions, but I doubt very much we'll be seeing any of that today. A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about the ice map. As with all the drivers at this level, they have a lot of ambition, but Formula One's a daunting step up from any other series, so expectations are high right from the start. And this is something that has ended the career of many a young driver, as that leap up to Formula One proves to be too much. 
but luckily in this case I'd say they're doing a good solid job and the risk the team took in signing them is definitely starting to pay off. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Daniel Ricciardo starts from pole position today, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Verstappen, Kimi Raikkonen, and Bottas, Iceman, Alonso, Grosjean, and Carlos Sainz, Van Dorn, Hülkenberg, Kevin Magnussen, and Perez, Ocon, Ericsson, Charles Leclerc, and Pierre Gasly. Stroll and Sergei Sorotkin rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. So it's a worst enemy here. The old rain is going to be heading into us just now. First off, we do not need a huge amount of fuel for this race. I think we can get away with just buying on 33 laps. You don't tend to use a lot when you're in the rain, I feel like, so we should be all right. Do we add more to the car? Ask the question. I'm going to say no. I'm going to try and survive with what we have. How much more time to take a lap off? I feel like we should be all right at this. Get 52 kilos. That's pretty. I guess that should be enough to get us through the race. I mean, there's definitely going to be a lot of lean mixture, I feel, in this race. But starting intermediates, three stop intermediates. It looks like the last bit will be able to get some slicks out. Like, the minute is any possibility of me getting slicks, I'm coming straight in. Even if it's a lap too early. I'd rather be a lap too early than even just a split second too late. So I'm going to take that risk early. Hopefully, we can get away with it. But... Hopefully the track will uh, all out. So how many laps there? It's 33 laps. So about whew, maybe the last five to six, maybe lap 27, we can try to bounce in for you know a pair of slicks. That's can I actually change that? I can't change it to like okay, cool. Um, let's hope I can do that. But anyway, we're just gonna go for bad. So 26, 27, lap 26, 27. We're gonna look for probably around lap 25. We're gonna have to look for those slicks. So let's get into the race. Jeez, can't really see very well, but we're after the best. Alonso got a good start on us. Break early. Bracken's a bit wide there. Bottas. Bottas the same. Oh. Bottas, get away from me. You're not. This is not time to do a Nico Rosberg on me. Virtual safety car, okay. Oh, it's a full safety car. Oh, wow. Okay. Check. Do we pay for new enters? Do we pay for new enters? Let's do it. Oh, no. The game crashed. Oh, lads, that's unfortunate. Well, here we go. Take two after the game crash. Let's go to the five red lights here and let's crack into this race. That is unbelievable amount of spray there. Middle of Bottas there. Rio takes us. Start out number three here. We still need to stay ahead of Bottas this time around, which is good. I like to get a nice gap ahead of him. Make him have to work for it, earn his paycheck, but as a not a fan of Mercedes. I'm going to keep him back there. Right, lap them right here. I've just stuck the head down and 
Stop going. Boss ass though. I feel like he's been building up your, your ass here just to have a go at me, but. Drill with that down to turn one. Got a nice bit of a train here. Seems anytime we get boss ass gets in range with us, we always seem to do just enough to get out, just to get outside of that ability to overtake, which just seems to be just helped us keep this position so far, so. Hopefully we keep him back for a few more laps to be. I think it's going to come down to pit hit stop. He's probably going to jump us in the pit, so. That's something I have to watch out for. It might undercut us, might overcut us, who knows. But if it comes at the same time as well, I could probably get away with it. But Yellow flag. Nico Hulkenberg out of the race. That is interesting. That is very interesting. While that was around the outside, he's getting a bit frustrated. We covered the position nicely. Good job. And now we can sail away. Oh, Bottas is finally going it. I think he's finally done it. Do we have it? Fighting up the edge. Oh, we got it. Bye bye, Bata. See you later, mate. I think we got a trip to the Stewarts in real life. I did that in real life, but anyway. Oh, he's back behind again. How did he get past Alonso? Alonso, did you just keep that position up? Our lap 10 here, or pardon me, 11, so we're going to come into the pits this lap, so we need a really good lap here. Need to have a flawless out lap. I should say in lap, I should say. Right, Bottas behind us into the pits, exactly what we want to see now, it is all about that. Talk about the work we've done here. Ooh. Don't get held up, clutch in. We get out ahead of Bottas, do we? Where's Bottas? Where is he gone? Where is Bottas gone? Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. I have no idea where Bottas is, so we're playing a guessing game here. All oh, these new tires feel nice. These tires are going to have to last us all the way to that, you know, slicks period, so. Well, the undercut definitely looked like it worked better than the overcut for sure. And I think that's going to add to these new tires feeling so good when they're fresh. I mean, actually, like, I have grip here today, which is unbelievable. Lap 15 here, Alonso right back on my tail now. Obviously, he's getting much better use out of the tires. I don't know what he's done with them, but mine have seemed to have just completely turned off. His seemed to have completely turned on. So, fair play, Alonso. You got better tires than me, but you're looking past me. Here comes Alonso. I'm going to basically force him to make the move outside me. I'm going to park into the apex there. Perfectly done. Here we go, Alonso is still 0.5 a second behind me. Just gotta keep him at bay, really. Do what I'm trying to do, but he's very good in sector 3. So we need to be careful of that. The Alonso is gonna try and make a move here, so I'm gonna stick out to the outside, force him to commit. In the end, there. I just push off the eight. Let's turn up the ERS deployment and burn some of this energy. All right, lap 20. I think I might go for six this lap. My tires are absolutely fried here, so.
Yeah, we're coming for six this lap. 100% coming in for six. Alonso trying to peek it down inside. Why is no one coming at me? Okay, thank god, oh, I sped into that pit lane for a split second. I'm surprised no one's taking the risk, but someone's gotta take the risk and go for it, you know? Gotta risk it. Wasn't the best pit lane entry exit entry exit by me, but we can look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. My Ocon has got a hit. Whoa, these are gonna be absolutely like What is wrong with these tires? What have we done? Ted new strategy, I didn't want the medium, I didn't want the soft, because I thought we could wait the soft, but increase ERS deployment. It's time to use some of this charge. Did any of them overcut me? Did any of them overcut me? Did he never cut me, boss ass? Who's no? See if we can get signs here. No, his tires are cold. Oh. I smell blood in the water. Just couldn't get the blood in the water. Oh, look at that. Here we go, fam. Get out of the way, Cara Science. I know it's your home Grand Prix and everything, but heck, get out of my way. Thank you very much. You know, there's a hurricane coming through, mate, so just stay out of the way. He is that DRS, though, which is a bit of a problem. Our gap to the car in front is 17.7 seconds. Now, Cara, if you can do me a favor and, like, hold up boss ass for, like, a good three or four laps. Be nice, perfect. Still some water on the track, it feels like. Sticking to Rich Mix here, we're going for it. Don't even think about Alonso. Nice try, mate. Look at that Rich Mix. Take a seat. Starts so perfectly in high inside in Bottas and Science. Exactly where we wanted to sit. Fast lap the race, you love to see it. Banging them in. Lap 25, I'm making some nice progress in the field here. The Alonso's a bit close, my liking. Here comes Alonso though. Just gotta defend against him. I think he never take me to that corner, so we're just going to plant in the apex. Alonso's hungry for that home. Should home crowd up. Not going to let that happen. The distance to the leader there we is go. 26. Alonso's going to have a little crack here. Going to force him into the inside. we go on the outside. Not a chance, mate. No chance. Well, maybe home Grand Prix, mate, but not a hope in hell. I was ever at you to that door, mate. There's Alonso again, lap 27 now. It's a race down here. I'm basically going to break glass. I know I'm going to break glass. Oh, there's contact there. And Bottas has gone sneaking through. I don't know what Alonso was trying there, but that was never on. His own fault for trying to do that to me. Oh wow, Bottas goes right through me. I get to Oh, Bottas nearly took my front wing and my end plates off. That would have been a disaster. Alonso got to your SME. Is he going to go for it? 
He's going to go for it. He has got it. Oh, Alonso pushed him off the track there. Alonso, like, this is the dirtiest race I've ever seen from you, mate. I mean, I know you got eliminated in the Belgian Grand Prix today, like, aggressively, but that is just insane, mate. Also, start using up some of this rich mixture. You need to get a gap away from Alonso. We need to get him out of DRS range. A lot harder work to keep Belcher Bottas behind. The early part of the race is pretty much turned to naught now. Here goes Alonso again. I don't think I have anything to defend this time with. Maybe he needs a slipstream. Oh, oh, that was daring. Oh, there's contact there. There was end plates flying there. Oh, what a daring move again. We are licking the stamp and sending it. Oh, 30 Alonso slipped out of our DRS, which is exactly what we need, but I'm not going to take any risks. Flash that DRS up. I keep saying DRS at ERS, but I'll get eventually. Roman Grosjean just passed Alonso. Yeah, Roman Grosjean, I think he's DRS. He's going for it. I'm going to park it on the inside. He's going to have to go around the outside of me. Again, why are they banging into me? You can see I'm there. The door is not open, mate. It's your own fault, Rojan. You walk through the door that was closed. Here we go again with Rojan. Trying to break that toe. Trying to force him to make the mistake. He is so close. He's like right on the back of my gearbox. He can literally see what gear I am at him. That's how close he is. Oh, I just couldn't keep it there. Don't know what's wrong with my car, but it is really struggling these last few laps here. Well, here comes Grosjean again. You know he's going for it. I'm going to send it. Oh, I think he has it. Done it again. Oh my god, the audaciousness to do that. And Ricardo wins. Wow, we nearly got locked there. That would have been a bit embarrassing. Look out for fuel. I do not lose fuel out in this round. I mean, those front runners were so good today. It was just ridiculous. I don't know what, why we didn't have the same... Like, did I lose some end plates or something? Hang on a second. That looks like I got end plate damage. How many am I meant to have? Hmm. Looks all right there. Looks all right there. But it says in the dial, it's like light green, which indicates it's damaged. Comes Grosjean going again. Oh, that was definitely dirty by me. That was not my fault, okay? That was not my fault. Hey mate, Grosjean, not a fan of you in real life, so mate, just sit back. That was completely accidental. Yeah, like, I'm sure that's a different color green to, like, the other wing. It's not gonna matter. We're coming home. 
Ran out of fuel at the end, but who cares? Screw you, Grosjean. Screw you, Alonso, for trying to take him down the inside. Don't ever do that again. Who the hell do you think you are to even try that trick with me again? I'll teach him a lesson, but thank God. Wow, I've been recording this episode for two hours now. Ooh. Anyway, fair play to Red Bull. They were by far the best. I mean, Ricardo just smashed through. Everything else. Now, I think we may have taken a risk on those slicks a, a lap too early. I think the medium tire would have been a little better in the rain, but I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with that. I'll take seventh. Best of the rest. We can't argue with that. It was a very stressful race because, of course, the game. I'll pretty much put the other episode in it as well as did, but. Yeah, the game crash was not helpful, but fair play, Daniel Ricardo. The Probably will be lifting a, you know, a title again, at least not for the next two years at Renault. Well, <laughs> don't know. I actually like Daniel Ricciardo, but like, just made like I don't know why he went to Renault. You could have gone to the Ferrari for all you wanted. I mean, they would have shunted at King Rackham if they knew that you were going to be available. So there, it's time to see how there you see it. Two stops from everyone. Wow, we are one minute and 12 seconds behind. He was 14 seconds ahead of Lewis Hamilton and Vettel. Wow. Okay. Max Verstappen ahead of Kimi Rackett and Valtteri Bottas. I mean, Bottas, once he got past me, was just gone. Um, Barca is just not a good circuit for me. I, I think it's just... Did it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I've never seen that before. If not Alonso, but I think. Look how close Alonso, Roman, Carlo Sainz, Alonso were. Wow. And even Magnus as well. Jeez, everyone bunched up towards the end there. But again, like I'm not really sure if it's Barcelona, just I just struggle in Barcelona. Or if the AI is just better than I am around it. I I'm just not really sure, so we'll have to figure that out in the future, but you know, I'm looking forward to figuring out why. I think I'm gonna definitely it's definitely one of the courses that I like I'll like this and Baku are like the two courses I've ticked from the start that I need to seriously work on. I think there's definitely a lot of issues there. As you see, my 25, 1.1, you know, like the qualifying lap was, was perfect. But it seems to be once I get to the other tires, like the soft or the medium, like my entire game plan falls apart. Like I just, I don't have it. So definitely something to look into. I mean, Fernando put up 24.6, he's whole 0 0.05 ahead of me. I mean, when do we get... Can I check the... Oh, you can't check the, the lap times. That's annoying. Anyway, let's check the standings. Have a quick look at them. I haven't showed them in, a, in an episode or two. Hamilton getting some clear daylight ahead of Rakanen, Vettel, and Ricardo. Bottas in fifth. Max Verstappen in sixth. We're the best of the rest now at the moment. Uh, I think I might bump up the difficulty as well when I'm at it. I actually might bump it up two notches. Um, should be interesting, but... I'm not sure if I'll do that before Monaco or after. There you see, Conductor Hamilton. We're fourth. So we're just ahead of Renault and Haas. I expect they're going to come back. And of course, Mercedes leading the Constructor Champs over Ferrari by 12 points. So, not a bad episode. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go get some sleep. It's 4 o'clock in the morning here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I basically should have got to bed an hour ago. But I just want to get the game out for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out and enjoy your day. I'll see you.